So there are an estimated 7,396 golden lungus in India. The latest survey of the primate has revealed. Okay. So golden lungus recently there was a study and there was a report which came out and uh, regarding the primates. Primates are involved uh, are majorly the golden lungus or the monkeys category, chimpanzee category that are the primates. Okay. So majorly now there has been a report which has come down and 7,396 golden lungus have been uh, found. So regarding golden lungus, it is native to India and Bhutan and the geographical region or the geographical area where we can see golden lungus are limited to Assam, India and neighboring Bhutan where they live year around. Okay, important. So it is not uh, endemic to India. That is one of the things. But it is endemic to Indian subcontinent. Okay. It is not endemic to India, but it is endemic to Indian subcontinent. So the geographical region where we can see is Assam, then uh, India and neighboring Bhutan. The area the inhabit is restricted to the region surrounded by four geographical landmarks. They are seen in foothills of Bhutan in the north, Manas River in the east, and Sankosh River in the west and Brahmaputra River in the south. In these areas only we can see the global uh, golden lakko. That is foothills of Bhutan, then Manas River in the east and Sankosh River in the west and also Brahmaputra River in the south. In these region only we can see the golden lakko. Okay. So important thing, it is not endemic to India but it is endemic to Indian subcontinent and it is uh, re, uh, because it is uh, seen only in India and Bhutan. So the area or uh, habitat is in the foothills of Bhutan, Manas River, Sankosh River, Manas River in the east, Sankosh River in the west, and Brahmaputra River. Habitat, as we said, in this area will be having moist evergreen and tropical deciduous forest, as well as some riverine areas in savannas in Assam and Bhutan. Mostly in the moist deciduous, uh, moist evergreen tropical deciduous forest. Okay, they are very much depend on trees dependent on trees living in upper canopy of subtropical forest in south and more in temperate forest in the north. Okay. Now, food habitats are polyvorous and frugivorous. Now, unique features is it's mostly recognized by the color of their fur. That is why the name. Okay. Now, the fur changes color, uh, fur color change, uh, fur color changes according to the seasons. Males are also tended to be slightly larger than females. Now, regarding its conservation status, if we consider IUCN red list, they are endangered and sites appendix 1. Appendix 1 means they are uh, protected from transboundary trade. Okay? These are highly protected from transboundary trade. That is why apex, apex, appendix 1. So, in the IUCN red, red list, they are endangered. If we consider the threat, the survey report underlined an unstable situation in the fragmented habitats of golden lungus, particularly due to the absence of non-breeding all male bands. Okay. Need for there need to be a, a corridor linkage among the fragmented habitats. So plantations and canopy bridges to offset potential threat to primate phases, their anthropogenic interactions. This means that we have discussed the habitat in which we they are seen. The habitat is very much limited. And in that also, we can see in between the, the um, as such, these habitats are not connected, okay? There are fragments of the ha habitat due to plantations, okay? Due to uh, other potential threat by the anthropogenic activities, by the human activities. So, oftenly, their numbers are getting reduced due to this fragmented habitat. So, the uh, uh, primatologists suggest, primatologists are those who study about the primates, okay? The, those who study about the golden lagoon, those who study about the uh, chimpanzees, like that, primates. So, among, uh, they said to develop a corridor for uh, enhancing their protection to uh, have an area where the fragmented, uh, have, uh, to corridor that where the fragmented habitats are linked. Okay. 